Mickey Meehan for UCCS Athletics. I'm here with head track coach Ross Fellows. Now, coach, last weekend you were in Rapid City, South Dakota for the RMAC Championships, and it went pretty well for you guys. On the women's side, they were the conference champions. On the men's side, they were the runners-up. You also walked away with 43 all RMAC athletes. Talk about your performance there. Um, I thought it went really well, obviously. I mean, it just was uh, – everything came together. The kids competed really well. Um, the event started at 8.30 in the morning. So um, when you're in South Dakota, the weather's not uh, ideal at 8.30 in the morning. Um, so we, we did a lot of mental preparation, just kind of getting the kids – uh, mentally prepared for the cold weather uh, we're, we were training outside in the cold um, here you know trying to do some morning workouts um, but kind of one of the big thing was uh, before we started was I did not want to hear one time that it was cold and uh, you know it to me it what it looked like was the kids were enjoying it you know they were they were embracing the meat and the in the weather and um, even though it wasn't ideal conditions so um, having 43 all our Mac performers was outstanding um, we had a few athletes that that competed out of their minds um, and I know you you mentioned that the women won the won the conference championship but they kind of overshadowed the men the men had an outstanding meet as well um, getting second in in a, one of the best conferences in division two so a um, um, couple highlights were Deshaun Alcock he was the named the athlete of the meet and uh, Skyland Webb was athlete of the meet. Uh, Deshaun won the 100 and the 200, and Skyland won the 800 and the 1500. So it was just, it was really good. Um, had with 43 all R Max, I can't mention everybody, but Kaya Crow did amazing. Um, we had uh, Charlie Forbes on the men's side who kind of dominated the hurdle races and uh, just went really well. Uh, another thing was in the, in the women's long jump, we went uh, had a three-way tie for second with all of our girls. So that was that was something I hadn't seen before. It was really exciting, um, but just overall an outstanding meet, and um, kids did really well. A lot of top performances. You mentioned Deshaun Elcock and Skylin Webb. They were also named the Outdoor Track Athletes of the Year. You yourself were named the Head Coach of the Year. Comments there. Um, so for me, just being Head Coach of the Year is just. It's uh, got to give credit to the athletes and in, in my s coaching staff, um, in my opinion, one of the best coaching staffs in, in track and field and in all divisions in the country. So a um, lot of really good coaches behind me um, and then got a lot of good athletes that are being coached up. So um, and then with uh, Skyland and Deshaun, um, those major awards are not easy to get in this in this uh, this region. So um, pretty, pretty amazing. Um, very proud of them. I'm looking forward to seeing what they do here in the next couple weeks at Nationals. You have a couple last chance meets here coming up. Big thing is you're preparing for Nationals. Comments there. Yeah, so uh, we're taking 20 athletes to Nebraska Kearney this weekend. It's going to be 72, sunny. Uh, got some good competition from the mainly in the MIAA conference, um, and they've got a lot of good athletes in the in the events that we're good at. So um, we're going to go there and see if we can better our qualifying marks and maybe get a few other people qualified for nationals and um, just kind of see how it goes. But um, it's been an outstanding year. Um, I couldn't have dreamed of it being this good, and, and um, it's just been really fun. Well, Coach, we wish you the best. Obviously, the qualifiers for nationals come out next week, so we're Fingers crossed we should have a couple athletes, hopefully a lot of them going with a lot of top performances. We wish you the best of luck this weekend. As always, fans, thanks for tuning in, and go Mountain Lions.